Hi, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to create this amazing shot of this woman standing in front of the Las Vegas Strip. Now of course she's not really standing in front of the Las Vegas Strip, she's just standing on in front of a green screen, but we're going to make it look just like she's actually there with vScope key. All the media in this demo is available online for you to download and try it out for yourself. You can get the demo version of vScope key and you can get all of the files that you need to make this shot straight from the link on the site. And that link is dvdxdv.com slash key. And you can give uh, this a try for yourself and also just uh, play along as we're doing this. So let's start out with this tutorial. First thing we're going to do is we're going to, after we've uh, downloaded the media, we're going to uh, take the foreground shot and the background shot and drag those into the timeline. And we need to take first the background shot and drag that into the timeline at the bottom. And the foreground shot, we need to drag that on top of the background shot on the timeline. And as you can see, when we do that, now we can see that the woman is actually not in Las Vegas, but she's just standing in front of a green screen. So to get her to look like she's in Las Vegas, what we need to do is go down to vScope key and grab the soft light key filter and just drop it right on top of the clip. And as you can see instantly, she's in Las Vegas. So we still need to make a few adjustments because this isn't quite right yet. So let's turn off soft light key by just deselecting it and turning it off for a second. And let's select the background color. And once we do that, that's by just taking this little eyedropper and just selecting it. Boom, that's it. And once we do that, we can turn soft light key back on. And as you can see, uh, it looks pretty good but there might be some problems here hiding. And in order for us to find uh, where those problems might be, we go over here and we select on the show mask parameter so we can see the parts that are transparent and the parts that are not. Everything black is transparent, everything white is opaque, and everything gray is a middle ground between the two, slightly transparent. Now, what we want to do is we've got this gray area, these little dots here in her hair. And so what we want to do is get rid of them. So in soft light, what we're going to do is take our subtract gain and back it off just a little bit. And as you can see, those dots are just slowly going away, just totally disappearing. And that's pretty good. We also want to take off low clamping, which is in there by default and post low clamping, which is also there by default. And uh, we can now, once we've done that, we can turn our mask off and look at the original image and that looks pretty good. However, there is, if we look really, really close, we can still see some green in the hair. Hmm, not so good, but we can fix that. We just go into our despill enable option that's in soft light and we just turn that on. And once we turn that on, we just kind of slide around until the green sort of disappears. And if we go back to the full size image, we can see now there's absolutely no green. But these edges, these edges around here are a little bit pixelated. Of course, we're using very low resolution images for this example. And uh, as we can see, that's, uh, see all those edges right there? That's just because there's just not enough color information. But we can fix that as well by going to our edges filter that's right above the soft light key filter. And we just drag that right on top of the clip and the edges already soften up. And that's pretty good. But of course, if we look at it full size, there might be a little too much softening. She's just looking a little bit uh, too transparent. So we need to take the, uh, the erode blur parameter and set that down to one and just hit enter. And we take the blur parameter and set that down to one because this is low resolution. And now if we look at really 
really closely, we can see that now the pixelization is most more or less gone, and she's nice and uh, she's not much of a Lego person right now. She's kind of blended in perfectly. And as you turn on and off the edges parameter, you can see what's happening to that, and that looks pretty good. Now there's still more we can do, and one of the things we might want to do is kind of blur out the background. So what we can do is just go to the blur over here, up here in the uh, video filters, and just select defocus, and we can drag that onto the background of the image. And we get a little too much defocusing. So it's parameter default in the amount parameter is set to 10. We can just kind of back that off a little bit, maybe to about seven, six about that, somewhere in there. And uh, that looks pretty good. And as we kind of step through the timeline, we can see uh, what the final shot is going to be looking like. And that's how you use vScope key to create this fantastic shot of this woman in Las Vegas. Again, if you want to find out more about vScope key, just go to the website, which is dvdxdv.com slash key. And you'll see a link to get all of the media to create this shot and a demo version of vScope Key so you can try it out.